The heroine of today's video, Japanese judoka Ryoko Tani, is only 146 centimeters tall, but that hasn't stopped her from becoming the best female judoka of all time. Bursting onto the international scene at the age of 15 after winning the Fukuoka Cup over four-time world champion Karen Briggs, the Japanese star went on to dominate the ultralightweight category for two decades. Tani is the first female judoka in history to compete in five Olympic Games, and the only one to walk away with a medal each time. She went a remarkable 12 years without defeat at international level, winning every major competition she competed in from late 1996 to 2008. Stepping onto the tatami for the first time at the age of seven, Tani won her first judo title just a year later, defeating even a few boys along the way. As Tani puts it, that was the first time I really worked hard on something and it materialized. That's when I realized that I had a real passion for judo and that I really wanted to win. In her early years, she was inspired by four-time world champion Karen Briggs of Great Britain. At the age of 15, Tani competed against her role model for the first time at the 1990 Fukuoka Cup, the first international women's judo competition held in Japan. Tani beat her idol in what was her first major victory, although a year later Briggs got her revenge in the semi-finals of the world championships and Ryoko had to settle for bronze. When women's judo made its first appearance at the Barcelona Olympics in 1992, 28 years after the men's competition, Tani thrilled the crowd on her way to reaching the final at the age of just 16, losing only to French world champion Cécile Novak. She continued her rise to the top, winning two world championships in 1993 and 1995 and by the 1996 Atlanta Olympics was a major favorite. Tani went to Atlanta as a firm favorite, winning 80 for consecutive events. But as a result, she failed to live up to expectations and had to settle for silver once again, this time losing in the final to a young North Korean judoka, Kai Sun Hui, who was competing in her first international tournament. The Japanese star was troubled by this unexpected defeat, which ended a streak of 80 for wins. I asked myself questions over and over again. Will I be able to endure all the hard training again? Could I win gold in Sydney? Then I started to think that retirement is easy, but I will regret it for the rest of my life. The Japanese woman's motto that characterized her determination was minimum gold, maximum gold. And it was no surprise that she was lucky for the third time when, in the final of the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, she defeated Lubov Brultova of Russia in the Hippo, just 36 seconds, and finally won her first Olympic gold medal. Now that she had reached great heights, in the following years, Tani swept away all her rivals at all the major biennial championships for over a decade. At the 2000 and for Athens Games, despite being in pain due to an ankle injury, Tani wasn't about to give up her title. I was determined to win, no matter how much it hurt, she said. Competing in Athens in 2004, she reached her fourth consecutive Olympic final, defeating French judoka Frédéric Jossin with a wasari, becoming the first female judoka to retain her title.
Tanya's steady success earned her many loyal fans in Japan and allowed her to become the main character in a popular Japanese comic book, and her performances in major competitions generated huge media interest. In 2005, she gave birth to her firstborn son, and three years later she returned to the 2008 Olympic stage in Beijing, where she won bronze after losing to Romanian Alina Dumitru in the semi-finals. Not content with winning five medals at so many games, Ryoko Tani said she would return in 2012 for the London Olympics. However, in 2010, after the birth of her second child, she announced the end of her career and went into politics, winning a seat in Japan's parliament. Tiny Japanese Ryoko Tani is a shining example that you don't have to be tall, strong or have imposing looks to become a champion, but all it takes is determination.